Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at a key A350 safety feature, the Auto Emergency Descent System. We'll start with what an emergency descent is, then explore how the AED system works, and finally walk through two practical demonstrations, so you can see it in action. If you find this useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Airbus educational content. Let's dive in. Welcome to this presentation on emergency descent procedures for the Airbus A350. This lesson is brought to you by Autopilot Education. In today's lesson, we'll cover the following. What is an emergency descent? We'll look at a case study where emergency descent procedures were not followed. You'll learn how to perform an emergency descent on the A350, including the required memory items and the automated emergency descent function. And finally, we'll walk you through a practical demonstration of the A350's emergency descent technology in action. Let's get started. An emergency descent is a response to a cabin decompression. The goal is to get down to 10,000 feet as quickly as possible, as this is a suitable altitude to breathe without the aid of oxygen. A decompression can occur for many different reasons. One possibility is an explosive decompression, which may follow major structural damage. In other cases, a slow decompression can happen, sometimes due to a small air leak in the cabin, such as around a door seal. It could also result from a technical issue, requiring the crew to initiate an emergency descent. Most commercial aircraft aim to maintain a cabin altitude of 8,000 feet. This ensures passenger comfort. The A350 has a cabin altitude of 6,000 feet. If cabin altitude exceeds 10,000 feet, the chances of hypoxia increase so much so that at 41,000 feet, your time of useful consciousness is roughly 15 seconds, so it is vital an emergency descent is initiated as soon as possible. On August 14, 2005, Helios Airways Flight 522, a Boeing 737-300, took off from Cyprus, en route to Athens. Shortly after departure, the aircraft failed to pressurize properly, but the crew didn't recognize the issue. As the aircraft climbed to cruising altitude, 34,000 feet, the cabin altitude rose rapidly. The time of useful consciousness at that altitude is just 30 to 60 seconds. The aircraft flew on autopilot for over two hours, entering a holding pattern over Athens. Intercepting fighter jets found the cockpit unresponsive and both pilots incapacitated. It eventually ran out of fuel and crashed, killing all 121 on board. This highlights the vital need for immediate recognition of decompression and prompt emergency descent. In the event of a decompression, the crew must initiate an emergency descent by promptly executing the following memory items. The memory items for conducting an emergency descent on the A350 are aligned with procedures used across other Airbus aircraft. Either pilot can announce emergency descent. This callout triggers the start of the memory items. The first priority is for the crew to protect themselves by donning their oxygen masks. Next, the seatbelt signs are switched on. The emergency descent is then initiated. If auto thrust is not available, the thrust levers must be moved to idle. After that, the speed brake should be fully extended to increase the rate of descent. So how do we initiate an emergency descent? Let's have a deeper look at this. The A350 is equipped with more advanced technology compared to earlier Airbus models. As a result, there are three different ways an emergency descent can be performed on the A350. The first method is the conventional Airbus technique, used across all Airbus aircraft. We have a full demonstration of this procedure on the A320 available on our channel. In short, using the AFS control panel, the pilot turns and pulls the altitude knob to select a lower level. Then, they turn and pull the heading knob to initiate a lateral turn, and pull the speed knob to increase descent rate. The FMA is announced to confirm correct mode engagement, and the speed brake is manually extended. This is the standard, fully manual method taught across the Airbus fleet. The second method is to manually arm and activate the A350's automated emergency descent function, commonly referred to as the AED. 
This allows the aircraft to manage much of the descent automatically, reducing pilot workload during high-stress situations. The third and final method is when the AED engages automatically. If both pilots become incapacitated following a rapid decompression, the system detects the emergency and initiates the descent on its own. It's this level of automation that could ultimately save lives in a worst-case scenario. Let's now have a deeper look into what the AED is and how to use it. Airbus developed the automatic emergency descent to automatically provide lateral and vertical guidance, enabling the aircraft to descend safely to flight level 100 following a cabin depressurization. The AED can be engaged both manually and automatically. Overall, its goal is to reduce workload, ensure safety following pilot incapacitation, perform any TCAS RA and consider MSA when leveling off. As mentioned in the previous section, the AED can be engaged either manually or automatically. To manually engage the AED, the crew presses the emergency descent push button. A blue arm indication will appear on the push button itself, and the message, Emades armed, will appear on the primary flight display. To activate the descent, the crew then fully extends the speed brakes. This action engages the AED. Automatic engagement occurs when the aircraft predicts that the cabin altitude will exceed 14,000 feet within the next 15 seconds. In this case, the AED push button begins to flash with a blue arm label. EMADES also appears in blue on the FMA, and a countdown message is displayed on the PFD. Once the countdown reaches zero, the AED is engaged automatically. Following AED engagement, whether manual or automatic, Several actions are carried out automatically by the aircraft. EMADES appears on the FMA as the active vertical mode. The target speed is set to VMAX minus 5 knots, optimizing the rate of descent. The aircraft will initiate a lateral offset, flying 3 nautical miles to the right of its current track. The descent target is set to flight level 100, or to the minimum off-route altitude, plus a terrain clearance buffer, whichever is higher. In automatic mode, the speed brakes are fully deployed. The transponder is automatically set to 7700, indicating an emergency. And TCAS is set to below, to prioritize traffic threats below the aircraft during descent. It's also important to note, if structural damage is suspected, the crew should consider selecting an appropriate descent speed. Flying at maximum speed could worsen structural damage, so adjusting the target speed accordingly is crucial. We now know that if the cabin altitude is predicted to exceed 14,000 feet within the next 15 seconds, the AED will automatically arm. When this happens, a countdown appears on the primary flight display. This indicates that if the crew takes no action, the AED will automatically engage at the end of the countdown. During this countdown period, the crew still has the option to engage the AED manually by pressing the emergency descent push button and extending the speed brakes. These are the same steps used for a standard manual engagement. The crew can also choose to disarm the automatic emergency descent. To do this, they simply press the emergency descent push button twice. The AED will bring the aircraft down to flight level 100 or MORA plus a safety buffer to ensure suitable terrain clearance. Following this, speed, out star, and then out engage on the FMA. The aircraft decelerates to green dot speed. The speed brakes return to the current speed brake position. Auto EMA DES completed appears on the PFD. Pilots should be aware that if they manually stow the speed brakes or following the automatic retraction of speed brakes, then the risk of overspeed increases. Therefore, we recommend that you extend the speed brakes until the speed has reduced significantly.
Master warning. Cabin pressure, excess cab out. Emergency descent. How do you read? Read U5. Confirm emergency descent. Confirmed. Thrust idle. Ema Des, heading, flight level 100 blue. Auto Ema Des is engaged. Checked. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Airbus 123, rapid decompression. Emergency descent to flight level 100. This is your captain. Descent. Descent. Okay, we have established an emergency descent. ATC and cabin crew known. ECAM actions. Crew oxygen masks. Use. We are using them. Speed. Max appropriate. We are increasing to VMAX minus 5. ATC notify. They're notified. Imadez PA announce. PA completed. Max flight level 100 or MEA Mora. Flight level 100 blue. Checked. Cab out above 14,000 feet. Affirm. Pax oxygen masks on. Confirm Pax oxygen masks. Confirmed. On. When descent established, crew oxygen masks dilution. Norm. Clear cabin pressure. Clear. Speed. Outstar. Checked. Checked. When differential pressure below 2 psi and below flight level 100, Ram air. On. Confirm ram air. Confirmed. 